Happy Friday. It's finally Friday and we're going line dancing. I love line dancing. I've been line dancing now for several years. Darren is now into line dancing and Liz is here. <laughs> Liz was with me yesterday. If you saw yesterday's vlog, we went on an adventure with Guess Where Trips to see all kinds of amazing animals. Go check that out. It's the video I posted right before this one. But I am trying to break in these bad boys that I bought for the wedding. However, realistically, I will wear them all the time because I wear white all the time and I adore them. But I'm trying to break them in because the wedding is the two week countdown and there will be line dancing at the wedding. The instructor tonight is going to also be at the wedding, instructing everyone at the wedding to get them up and just having fun. So, I'm bringing you along. Let's go. Saturday. We are headed to Hamilton, Ontario for Super Crawl. Like I had mentioned in my previous vlog, this is a type of festival situation where they shut down an entire main drag in Hamilton. A lot of different vendors come with really cool handmade things that they've made. There's tons of live music, tons of great food. It's just a really cool thing to check out. So we are headed there and I'm gonna bring you along. vegetarian and vegan food. It's so good. I have to show you this really funny thing on the doorway behind me. Somebody's in trouble. Probably gonna get some dessert because it is a treat day and then we're gonna walk down and actually look at some of the vendors more closely. I was too hungry to think. I had to get down here and get food in my belly. Honestly though, it is the best people watching place that I think I have ever been. The characters here are amazing and everyone's super nice too. Like all the vendors, I wish I could support so many of them, but alas, onward. 
This is my absolute favorite alcohol-free replacement for alcohol. It is so delicious, and it's the only one I have ever tried, literally ever, that actually has the alcohol vibe, because usually it's just juice vibes. Like, alcohol-free wine, it's like grape juice, right? But this actually feels like alcohol, not buzz-wise or heady-wise, just in your mouth and in your belly. It's amazing. I would take this over alcohol any day. Fun fact, Andrew Huberman, who is one of the world's leading neuroscientists, has already discussed on many podcasts and places that once you have two drinks, that is the max amount of buzz you're going to get from alcohol. Anything beyond two drinks, it's just poisoning you. So you just lose all sense of that, obviously, after the first two, but all you need is two and just stick with that I promise it's such a neurotoxin and I get it I like my wine I love that kind of thing I love a cold beer on a patio on a hot day but two is good and don't forget to have healthy fats in your belly first and take activated charcoal at least two capsules and it will bind to the toxins in the alcohol and help to remove it from your body three drinks or more don't do that but then take two more capsules of activated charcoal right before you go to bed there's a whole video on my channel on how to drink alcohol safely and more healthily so go check that out Our home it was delicious there was a ton of walking so that's good for how delicious it was and I have a mini haul to show you so there is a plant stand there that was there last year and I ended up getting a mini monstera there last year and then the little bonsai tree that I have in my kitchen windowsill that I have already shown you in the last vlog but they had big monsteras this time and I have so wanted one for the meditation room and unfortunately as I was trying to pick the one that I thought I wanted it broke and then after as I was paying for it because obviously if you break it you should buy it they tried to be really nice and say that I didn't have to buy it but I did and after I bought it I noticed brown on one of the leaves and even on some of the new coming leaves so it's going to take some care I went to the dollar store, bought some pots because we got some repotting to do, but I'll show you this plant and then the other fun stuff. This is her and this is the very unfortunate break. So that's sad, but I'm going to try to propagate that. And then this, there's still centerpiece stuff all over the table for the wedding. And then this. I saw that's unfortunate that usually means it hasn't had enough water though so we'll be good there really needs some repotting so we're gonna do that but it's majestic and she will be glorious also these are glorious too these are just from the grocery store but they're amazing and I hope that the ones from Costco that come for the wedding on the 26th of this month look as pretty as that our house is becoming very crowded with all of the wedding stuff going on. But uh, two more weeks, two week countdown. I can't wait. Got these little crochet figurines. We make a shadow box every year of our relationship as an anniversary type of thing to do together to commemorate the year that we had together. So we find a little trinket from everywhere that we've really gone throughout the year or everywhere significant that is. And we create the shadow box every anniversary. So I will show you our current shadow boxes for the last two years. The next one will be created in May and we're getting better and better at it every single year. Hello. Big purrs. Okay, I will show you these shadow boxes. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty fun thing. And I just love that we started it right at the end of our very first year. So we never missed one yet. We only have two, but we will have them 
for all years. Try not to use too much artificial light, especially from screens after sunset, because our stress hormone cortisol turns off the repair and weight loss hormone in our body. And cortisol is not just the stress hormone, it's also the hormone that gets released to wake us up in the mornings when the body perceives light. So being that the human genome, taking 100,000 years to change a tenth of 1%, our bodies still think it's caveman times and still act as such. And so when we get too much artificial light, especially from screens, blue light, after sunset, the body gets confused, thinks it's time to wake up, and suppresses our sleep and repair and weight loss hormone. So this is why I tend not to use lights, but I wanna use them now so I can show you these things. This was year one. Random things. We didn't really have much, because I don't even know when we thought of actually doing this, but this was year two the improvement of how much better we got at it. We take our picture together at the Thirsty Cactus in Dundas, Ontario, where we met. And so this was on our first date. This was on our anniversary date there. And we will be taking another one there. And then this is the collection of things for this coming shadow box. Oh, hi! What are you doing? Let's go! Anyway, it was a glorious day. We had a lot of fun. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to be doing a retreat day with one of my best friends. There will be lots of meditating involved, some Reiki, some just energy healing for all of us, camaraderie, and just joy. I cannot wait, but I will probably film a few little tiny things and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
of water per day, your body weight in pounds, half of that in ounces of water per day, and put some minerals in there. Get some Celtic sea salt, put a tiny, tiny pinch on your tongue, drink the water over it. Your body will then absorb 50 to 80 minerals that we are lacking generally. And so this will help the cells take up this hydration. It's really important to have properly filtered water. Do not drink tap water. Don't ingest fluoride but I digress. Anyway, we are cleaning up diet wise today. Your body will enjoy having a treat day once in a while, especially if you've been in a caloric deficit over an extended period of time, shocking your body with a surplus day, not in a binge way, just in a surplus calorically. Your body will then rev its metabolism a little bit easier. But anyway, I replanted this thing. I was not thinking it looked too good. It's been water starved. It needed replanting. It was root bound. It was just needing some finesse and some love and care. So we did that. Today, Darren went to the grocery store to get things that we needed for our picnic lunch and came home with this most amazing Monstera. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. Most men bring home bouquets of flowers gotta love mine brings home a massive gorgeous beautiful monstera so i'm gonna look after this when you first get a plant really look at it see if it is root bound pull it out of the pot see if it's root bound see if it's got root rot see if it has any brown spots or yellow spots on the leaves or yellow leaves themselves because usually when you do bring them home they're still in their nursery pots they haven't been taken care of in the greatest ways and so there's a lot that you can do to help it. Throw the moisture meter in there, see if it needs a drink. Anyhow, we're gonna get ready. We have set up our meditation beds. This one is like a makeshift one because we only had two. This is the old one that I bought from Amazon. It's fantastic, except now it's like a gazillion dollars on Amazon, unfortunately. This is the new one, six inch memory foam. It's amazing. We've got stacks of blankets and I just, I can't wait. So, Baba, she's gonna retreat with us, but let's give her some treats now. You want some treats? It's the only word she knows other than her name. Say thank you. Till next time. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a little bit more breakfast. I'm a little bit hungry before we begin. We're gonna do two eggs with some everything but the bagel and guac seasoning on there, guacamole seasoning. If you haven't tried that, I 10 out of 10 recommend it. Eggs are one of the only foods nutritionally that are complete protein and healthy fats. Always make sure to get a good chunk of complete protein in the beginning of your day. Morning meal would be best. Um, but this is just a snack for me. If you're ever having a snack, always make sure that any carbohydrate, any fruit, veggie, green, grain is paired with a healthy fat or a complete protein. Meals should have all three macros, healthy fats, complete proteins, and healthy carbs. Your body's gonna have its own ratio that it needs. But I also forgot to mention that one of the best ever in the world breath coaches is my best friend who's coming to this retreat day. So we're just gonna take part since she'll be here and I can't wait to show you what that's like. It's called Intero Breath. And normally we know of breath work as like really aggressive, right? Heavy breathing and long holds and stuff that can, I personally don't enjoy it because I don't like the physical discomfort. But what Holly teaches is gentle intero breath. So working with your introception, going inward to feel within your body, remove energetic blockages, get things flowing, and really help to discover your true self in there and different things that could be blocking you. So it's another modality that is just absolutely fantastic in the world of holistic health or how our entire body mind system works together as one interconnected whole. So I can't wait to show you some of that, but yeah, Holly's gonna be here for the retreat and teaching and I'm excited.
perception is key to regulating our nervous system and our emotional agency. Interoception is the sensations that our body is sending to us and often we're really consumed with our five lane highways of external information coming inwards, so our sight, our touch, our taste, those kinds of senses that we're really familiar with. But interoception is information direction from the other way, so from the body to our consciousness, our mind. And we often are so consumed with paying attention to the external sources of information that we block or miss, and we're just not taught to really pay attention to these inner body wisdom signals. We start to lose that ability to feel and sense. So we want to start to notice these little sensations within the body. It's like building self-trust, self-communication. There's a lot of information that each organ has its own little nervous system, so it's really adept at sending out signals. And a lot of it also is starting to point towards a vagus nerve connections. Also looking at times when we feel a bit depressed, there's often a bit of a numbing of the feeling of interoception so we don't have access to those communication pathways, whereas anxiety tends to be almost like an overactive response. So maybe a little flutter of the heart is taken to the fear center of the brain and it's actually interpreted as like a panic or an emergency when it's just a little bit of excitement. When we're out of our homeostasis mentally and emotionally that the interoception when it's not being received correctly, we're either missing the signals or misinterpreting them. Just learning that you can manipulate which area of your body your breath is able to visit. This is our super healthy, delicious retreat day lunch. These are Good Thins rice crackers. They're so good. It is a hot summer day in September. The Intero Breath experience was absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend that you try it. It's online. I have put Holly's information down below. She works with people worldwide and she's just she's just amazing. It's it's fascinating what you can discover about yourself and your body and where your restrictions are. Anyway, it's lunchtime. Apple egg cake. So there's an apple, an egg, the tiniest little splish of maple syrup and a tablespoon of almond butter and then I swirled almond butter on top which has then melted into... It's a hot day. It's, yeah, hot. it's hot. Retreat day was a massive success. We had such a good time. We shared a bunch of skills including Reiki and body work. Holly is an incredible, incredible body worker. She taught us the breath stuff that I showed you a bit of in Terra Breath. It was just such an experience explorative, healing, loving day. There's nothing wrong with getting together and hanging out and watching TV or just having fun, right? But to be able to commune with other like-minded people and do things together, like reading positive affirmation cards and helping each other with some body work if you have those skills or just meditating together, just being conscious together, grounding outside. We had our picnic grounding on the grass and just spending that type of quality time is so healing for the mind, the body, and the soul. So I highly recommend it. So it is the end of our Sunday. We are now just gonna eat a very small thing. I don't even know. We're just gonna basically have some healthy snack and then call it a night. But I hope you had a good day or weekend, whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. And I will see ya in the next one. Bye guys.